Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. I'm always talking about how bullish silver is and this video is going to be explaining why silver could be at the very beginning of a monster move higher. We always talk about these price forecasts, these predictions, but we can never get accurate assumptions because the unknown variables that apply when we're looking to the future. So this video is going to be explaining why silver could be making monstrous moves higher and what that's going to entail and look like for the future. So before we start, make sure to smash that like button. Let's see if this video can get 250 likes. Everyone, like the video right now if you love precious metals. Liking the videos is definitely the best way to help the channel out as well as being subscribed. I post daily videos, so stay tuned for that as well. The link to this article from Seeking Alpha will be in the description if you want to check it out yourself. With that said, let's jump into it. So, silver has been in a bear market for nine years, but record deliveries are happening on the COMEX and silver is dipping in and out of a backwardation this month. Silver outperforms gold, but only at the tail end of the bull markets, as in the August 1979, January 1980, and August 2010 to 2011. So we're talking about when silver was hitting $50. And those are both times silver hit $50. Silver's 50-day WMA just moved above its 200-day WMA for the first time since 2003 when it started a 10 times rally to the 2011 top of $49. I believe the next 10 times rally is starting now, but the top should come much quicker this time. We we see this when silver hit $50. It's a very gradual approach. And when it hit 50, it, it, it didn't stay there for too long. It, it didn't stay there for long at all. And that's because people, the shorthand, they, they short sold it. They sold it, right? Silver is backwardation. Physical deliveries of silver this month, July 2020, are at all-time records. And July isn't even half over yet. Something big is happening in silver. And it's best if gold bugs don't miss it by paying too much attention to gold. As gold is breaking record highs or is close to its all-time record high a lot of people are are focusing on gold but gold has already exploded and it's chilling up there kind of like the video i was talking about yesterday so it's like a pressure cooker the pressure cooker for gold already popped and and, and it's it's dwindling it's sitting up there but it's not going to be making too much more of a move upwards because it's already hit that peak silver still hasn't blown the pressure cooker for silver still hasn't blown its top so we're still waiting and we don't know how much higher that, that, that top is going to be. We talk about silver outperforming gold with so many different things in, in silver's way. And it could be much, much more of an explosive move than gold has. So use precious metals, guys. We know the gold numbers very well, but silver gets lost in the mix. The silver rallies tend to be so fast, furious, and short-lived that we tend to forget what actually happened, making it difficult to prepare for the next one. How long has silver been in the bull market? Using that Hacking 20% off lows definition for bull markets, how long was the bear market? The answer to the first question is actually less than four months. The bull market in silver began in Mar on March 16, 2020. Technically speaking, since silver hit its peak of $49.82 on April 24, 2011, gold's volatile cousin has been in a nearly nine-year bear market, not without what turned out to be bullish head fakes in hindsight, but the lows of $11.64 were only hit in March. Could this be another bullish fake, head fake? Anything is possible in commodities. Heck, we just saw negative oil prices, but it would be a historic stretch to say this is another silver head fake. In fact, about a month before oil hit negative $35, silver was sitting its own all-time record lows in, turn, in gold terms at 131 to 1, or talking about the gold-to-silver ratio. And that's definitely true. Right, A lot of people are looking at this $50 silver mark and they're desensitized to that where they expect silver to always be in this $50 range. But you got to look at you got to look at things realistically. I mean, the July 2016 high of $21 silver is the last time we saw anything close to that. So nothing close to this ratio has ever been seen before in all of human economic history. And they're talking about the 131 to 1 ratio that we saw uh, in March. And that's the highest or that's the cheapest silver's ever been relative to gold. So unless gold is a major bear market, silver's bear market is almost certainly over. In fact, the 1980 gold to silver ratio at low as 15 is actually the standard set during most of the 19th century. So the ratio is usually 15 to 1, but we saw it as high as 131 31 to 1. So what does that mean? That means that 
Gold is either extremely overpriced or silver is extremely underpriced. It's, it's the second one. Silver is extremely cheap relative to gold. And I think we're going to see this ratio starting to narrow down or, or, or come back down to more normalized prices. And that's going to entail silver outperforming gold. So what happens now? Well, if history rhymes, I believe silver is at the very beginning of a historic rally that should take it to all-time highs in the triple digits. So we're talking about $100 plus dollars silver. The rally should be fast and furious as were the previous two in 1980 and 2011. My guess is taking about two years or less this time. First, let's look at the last two major silver rallies and how they unfolded to give us a hint about the next one, how, or how the next one could unfold. So April 1978 to January 1980. This is the first time silver hit $50. The 1978 to 1980 bull market in silver was like an approaching storm climax by a tornado. Here's what it looked like relative to gold from beginning to end. So it's often, and this is what it looked like. You see, very slow, and then all of a sudden, November 1979, it, you see the first rally, a little bit of a pullback, and then it shot up again. It is often said that silver magnifies the move in gold about two times, and that's true. Silver is like gold on steroids silver is gold on steroids it hits higher highs and it hits lower lows it, it's more it's in a more exaggerated metal compared to gold if gold's going to hit you know is going to appreciate 20 percent silver is going to be appreci appreciate 35 40 percent but it also goes the the other way if gold's going to be dropping 20 30 percent silver may be dropping 40 50 60 percent so that's true over the course of an entire bull market, as you can see above, but it doesn't happen at an even pace. We can divide this run into two parts. Part one, 16 months from April 1978 to August 1979, when the two metals traded at pretty much an even pace. Then the five months from September 1979 to January 1980, when silver went ballistic. Here's a zoom in on the first 16 months so you can get a better see what happened. So gold outpaces silver right here, you can see. Silver overtakes gold, and that's the blue line is silver, and then silver pulls away, and that's the volatility in the silver market. For most of the nineteen, for most of nineteen seventy eight, gold in October, gold actually outpaced silver by about a hundred percent. By February, silver overtook gold, and by the end of August, silver began to pull away. For the next five months, silver went totally berserk, and this is where you see just silver out exploding above gold and this is the 2008 to 2011 starting from the credit crisis in 2008 so something similar happened from 2008 financial crisis which i just mentioned the bottom on precious metals on october 31st 2008 until the silver peak in april 2011 here's the full chart of that run so you can see 2011 starting from the credit crisis and all of a sudden 2011 you see it shoot up 389 percent from October 2008 until around August 2010, the two metals traded mostly evenly. Silver outpaced gold on occasion, but corrected back down towards its repeatedly repeatedly during that time. Around the end of 2000, August 2010, though, silver began to pull away with complete abandon. And you can see this is the iShares Trust on silver and the iShares Trust on gold. This is how silver tends to outperform gold. The bulk of the outperformance happens at the end of a bull rally. Not throughout, it's at the end. Since gold bottomed in late 2015 through at a, a $1,044, silver has not confirmed. If March 16th, 2020 was the bear market bottom in silver, then we may now be entering the initial stages of the real gold bull rally that should be led by silver. Here's where we are now. Counting March 16th as the equivalent of the post-2008 financial crisis, Precious metals lows of October, on October 31st, 2008. It looks like silver may be already pulling away from gold. If during the next gold correction, silver doesn't fall hard, we may be much near the parabolic stages that we were in the last two rallies. Technical indicators pointing towards something big brewing. I don't pay all that much attention to technical signals, signals most of the time at least, but signals that happen once in a decade, I do pay attention to. First though, on the short-term daily chart, the 50-day moving average in silver just moved above 200 DMA. This could be a nice sign for technical short-term traders who may have their algorithms pinging at them that something big is happening in silver. See the red circle. 
So this by itself is a much and doesn't point to anything long term. However, something much more significant is happening on the long term chart. So from the from the above silver chart, we see the 50 week moving average, the blue line first fell below the 200 day uh, weekly moving average and way back in the summer of 2013 from that point until the end of the gold bear market in late 2015 the 50 week moving average acted as resistance for silver you can see that from 2013 until 2016 the price just could not get above that blue line then that blue that blue that, that bull market in gold began but this bull market in gold was never confirmed by silver after the initial stages of the gold bull market from December 2015 to July 2016, silver indeed broke out. But once it hit the 200-day weekly or the 200 weekly moving average, that red line began acting as major resistance. The, fin the final historic washout for silver was in March during the COVID liquidity crunch, which we can count as the actual bear market bottom for a bear market that has lasted nine years. But here's what may be the really big deal. On the long-term chart above, you can also see the 50-week moving average just has broken decisively above the 200-week moving average, this one for the first time. In October 2003, from that point in 2003, over the next seven years, seven and a half years, silver skyrocketed 10 times in order of magnitude. That can and I will believe happen again with the starting point beginning of this July 2020 run. But something else happened in March, another historic record in silver. Relative to the U.S. M2 money supply, the price of silver is coming off at all-time lows, also not seen since 2003. If silver does nothing but stays where it is in money supply terms, it will rise significantly. Money supply is not going to stop rising at any time soon, with the Fed printing as much as it is. And also the physical demand rising. This impending rally is being confirmed, I believe, by the physical markets. I don't believe the backwardation we saw in the silver market the morning of July 9th, 2020, is a coincidence. Deliveries from the COMEX are also hitting records. See the July COMEX delivery report here for silver. Screenshot below. Keep in mind that July is only a third of the way done, which is actually crazy. So we see dwindling supp supply, rising demand. Given with all this, all these, all these signs from the chart standpoint, from the economy, from history, history that we see from 1979 to 1980, and in 2008 to 2011 which just silver hit 50 times but we also have this this pan this global hit pandemic on our hands which means prices could be even more exaggerated to the upside so i wanted to share this with you just to share some some potential and hopefully you can see what i see and see the bigger picture to see that silver is a ticking time bomb waiting to explode so if you did enjoy this article from seeking alpha Make sure to smash the like button. The, the link to this article will be in the description. If you thought this video was educational, informational, or at least just entertaining, please like the video and subscribe. It's the best way to help the channel out. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.